Saskatchewan Marine Info where knowledge has no boundaries. This is Bharat Kumar and today I am going to explain about scavenge fire. Causes of fire, indications of fire and actions on fire. So without a wasting of time, let's start today's session. Scavenge fire one of the most common reasons for a fire in a ship's engine room, scavenge fire is the deadliest of all fires. Scavenge fire has been the reason for a several major accidents on ships in the past. And it is for this reason that it is termed as a most dangerous cause for accident on ship. Let's see what is scavenge fire. For any fire to occur, we need three elements which make the fire triangle. The three important elements for any type of fire are oxygen, heat source and fuel. When all these elements are present in proportion ratio and lie within the flammable limit inside this scavenge space, the latter become a hot spot for eruption of fire. The fire which thus result is known as scavenge fire. Now let us discuss about causes of scavenge fire. First one, excessive wear of the liner. Second one, the piston rings might be worn out or have a loose ring grooves. Third one, broken piston rings or rings seized in the grooves. Dirty scavenge space, Fifth one, poor combustion due to leaking fuel valves or improper timing. Last but not the least, insufficient or excess cylinder lubrication. Now let's see indications of scavenge fire. First one, scavenge temperature will start increasing. Then turbochargers will start surging. High exhaust temperature. Fourth one, loss of engine power and reduction in RPM. This happens because a back pressure is created under the piston space due to fire. Smoke coming out of the scavenge drains. Last but not the least, the paint blisters will be formed on the scavenge doors due to high temperature, but this will occur only in a large fires and extreme cases. Now let's see actions to be taken if scavenge fire happens. For large fires, stop the engine immediately and engage turning gear and keep engine rotating with turning gear. Extinguish the fire with fixed firefighting system for scavenge fire. This may be CO2 system or steam connection for smoothing the fire. In case fixed system is not available on very old ships and external cooling is provided to prevent distortion due to heat. Once after confirming that the fire is extinguished, the scavenge space is allowed to cool down and later open for inspection and cleaning of the scavenge space. For small fires, start reducing the engine RPM and reduce it to slow or dead slow. Then increase the cylinder lubrication of the affected unit. Special attention to be given for this as this does not feed the fire. In case of increase of fire, do not increase the lubrication. Third one, the fire can be due to leaky fuel valves. So lift up the pump of the affected unit. Then keep scavenge drain closed. Keep monitoring the scavenge and exhaust temperatures and let the fire starve and wait for it to burn itself out. After confirming that the fire is out, start increasing the RPM slowly. Then keep monitoring the scavenge temperature for any signs of reignition. Thank you friends for watching a series of marine diesel engine. In upcoming video lecture, we will discuss about supercharging or pressure charging. Till that, keep learning, keep growing, 
स्टे हेल्दी स्टे सेफ